that time again. Oh. <laughs> Only with the webcam on. So because I've been holding it, you know, plain side, have I now noticed there is Christmas decorations on the cup. Right. Um so <laughs> Full disclosure, uh, the other videos that you've seen, because hopefully they've gone up before this, mainly because I'm saving on this one, because technically this is an all year round item um, that we're focusing on. Uh, I did what's known in, I guess, terms of McDonald's, Pete Nutters or fans or whatever you want to call it, uh, the double dip. So I managed to order right at the end of breakfast. Uh, to get what you saw in the previous videos, the Mighty McMuffin and the Spice Caramel Latte. No, Caramel Waffle Latte. Get it right. People will complain. Probably not on here, but they will. Um, and then immediately ordered the regular menu um, after that. Which brings me to my first point, which isn't actually the point. And that is, what's going on with the chips? Uh, because, for some reason, they taste better than usual. I don't know whether because it's the first one of the day, or they've changed like whatever potato it is that they're using, I don't know. But the chips taste better than they usually do. Sort of a little smokier for some reason as well. So, Either way, I guess the snag is, if you want like super duper chips, be the first in the queue at 11 o'clock when they go on. Which makes me wonder whether the same happens with like the hash browns and whatever. You know, the potato-based stuff. <clears throat> the waffles, which I couldn't get a hold of, as I previously mentioned. <clears throat> um, like, when it goes from... To five o'clock in the morning, when it changes from... Not breakfast, to breakfast. I don't know what they call it. Lunch, dinner? Other food? <clears throat> not breakfast? I don't know. So, regardless of that... Chips are very nice. Um, just sneak another one. So the main feature today is something that people have been asking for a while, and that is a permanent sort of premium chicken alternative. Like how you can get the Big Mac as a premium compared to sort of a regular cheeseburger or a hamburger. Well, because you've got like quarter pounder with cheese and things like that. <clears throat> And they wanted something different, I guess, to the McChicken sandwich. So after a trial run and after various chicken burgers that we have seen over the last few years, um, now, on a permanent basis, we have the McCrispy 100% chicken breast fillet. So I know with some of the other ones, it was like the chicken that sort of goes into the chicken selects or things like that that you get in it but this is an outright chicken breast this time i just realized because i'm having to look at the camera then i sort of quickly glance at myself and it just looks weird so whoa whoa we got a mass of escaping lettuce I'm hoping that's just the way that it's packed and whatever. Quite a lot of it. Can't complain there. So as you can see, it is a full-on chicken breast. I can just about take it off. There you go. It's, it's, it's a full-on sort of like chicken breast style breast breast. How many times can I say the word breast? A lot, breast. 
Um, wow, just having a taste of that mayo with the little kick in it is pretty nice. We'll go from this angle, I think. Mainly because it's a bit at the front. So let's see if the McCrispy is something that does deserve to be permanently on the menu. I'd probably say yes. There's quite a nice kick, but not too overpowering with the spicy mayo, which I'm guessing you could option out for something else, probably. I don't want to look it up right now. But the breast itself, you can clearly taste that it's the same sort of breaded stuff that goes into the selects and things like that it's that sort of flavor but this is nice as an alternative to a muck chicken sandwich this ain't bad I shouldn't even say this ain't bad. This is pretty damn good. Um, looking at the price, it's a little bit pricier than the uh, plant and the Big Macs are. Around the same price as a double quarter pounder with cheese. And the big tasties that are on for a number of months, as I previously mentioned in one of the previous videos, are more than that. Um, yeah, the mayo chicken's 99p and the McChicken sandwich is 3 99 So if you want something that's more sort of a premium chicken option, that's closer to, a, I guess, a Big Mac sort of style thing, or, you know, can't say double quarter pounder with cheese because it's only one bit of chicken, but it's pretty nice. Of course if you are on a budget just because i say it's really good don't try and like have it every time maybe try it as a one-off uh as an option thing but uh all in all i'd say that's pretty good and as i previously said this appears to be permanently on the menu now as an option so if you want to give it a try it's uh a, i'd say it's a good option to give a try to and if you can afford to make it your regular one feel free but i'm not you know telling you i'm just giving you my thoughts on the taste and everything as to whether it's a good thing which i would say yeah it's pretty good so thank you for watching this and the other f couple of videos that went up recently uh, covering the Christmas stuff and uh, the not Christmas stuff uh, check out all the other content here on the network uh, we've got the Popcast Movie Club Pop the Question and the uh, movie predictions and award season uh, stuff from myself uh, Owen and AJ and Chris as well for the uh, movie clubs and the uh, the pop question uh, Q and A things. Uh, AJ's got his uh, movie reviews and versus uh, battles. Uh, Owen's got sip and snacks and a whole bunch of voices of liberty ready to go. Um, you can catch the other snack stashes and other content with me. Uh, there's a few gaming with ashes uh, stuff there. I need to probably get onto that. I guess that's the New Year's resolution for 2023. Which would be funny if this somehow went up in April. But I don't think it will. Because I'll make sure to send it before then. 
Uh, with that, thank you for watching. If you've had the um, McCrispy, tell me your thoughts on it. I'll be interested to see, you know, if you have any. Um, or if there's anything, you know, give, if there's any sort of special things that are in your country, because I know not everybody's in the UK. Um, tell me about what they've got in your country and what there is, and then I can say if it sounds interesting, I'll probably, if I can be bothered, uh, <laughs> send requests, although loads of other people will, probably will anyway. Of uh, all these things, I've seen so many things of like all all the ones that we get over here, and people like in America are going, we need that over here, sort of thing. So, whatever. I guess we don't have the McRib, so that's that's why we get this instead, or something. <laughs> uh, with that, thank you for watching and listening and all that, and I'll hopefully see you on the next one.